Oh my god, I didn't think you were coming. How did you know I'd be up here? <laughs> you can tell I'm that antisocial, huh? <laughs> I was so worried when you texted me you couldn't make it. I was like, oh god, now I'm going to have to talk with people I barely know. I'm not even sure how I got invited to this party. Maybe it's because Jason has a crush on me? God, he's such a sleaze though. The thought of him trying to hit on me makes me shudder. I made eye contact with him earlier, before I completely gave up on trying to socialize, and he started walking towards me through the crowd. Luckily, I was able to sneak away, and that's how I ended up on the roof. It's nice up here, though. A lot quieter than downstairs with everyone else. But... Even up here, we can't escape the noise from the city. <sighs> Do you ever think about moving away? To like, a little town in the middle of nowhere? Somewhere quiet? I've considered it. But small towns have their drawbacks too. Even for someone antisocial like me. <laughs> In a big city, you're kind of anonymous. You can walk around and be just another face in the crowd. No one will question if you deviate from your normal routine. But it's not like that in a small town. Everyone knows you. You stop to get a coffee after work one day, and the next day someone will ask what you needed the caffeine for. So, even though there are less people, there's also less privacy. I'm not sure if I'd make it in a small town. <laughs> Maybe if you came with me. What do you think? Should we run away together? Escape from Jason and all the others? We can play house together. Honey, I'm home. And all that. <laughs> Doesn't sound so bad, does it? Oh, did you bring your champagne? <laughs> Great. If we have drinks and each other, we shouldn't need anything else all night, right? <laughs> I heard there will be fireworks later. We'll get a pretty nice view of them from up here. Everyone else will be too busy watching the countdown and getting wasted. And I cannot risk being in the same room as Jason when the countdown starts. What if he tried to kiss me? Why would he try to kiss me? Hmm? You don't know about the New Year's tradition? It's tradition to kiss someone as soon as the New Year starts. It's said that if you don't, you're doomed to a year of loneliness. <laughs> Wait. Don't tell me this is your first New Year's party. If I knew that, I would have made you come. And here I was, willing to let you skip, leaving me all alone to fend off Jason. I'm pretty sure he has a girlfriend, too. She doesn't live here, though, and he pretends she doesn't exist at parties. The worst. Ugh. I'll take no New Year's kiss over him any day, even if it means a year of loneliness. 
But, you know, there is one person I wouldn't mind kissing. <laughs> there is no way I'm telling you. You'll have to make me. Maybe dangle me over the sledge and shake it out of me? <laughs> I know you would never. Don't worry. I trust you more than anyone. Nope. I still don't trust you enough to tell you my crush. Listen, don't take it personally. I just... Don't think you'd be able to look at me the same after that. Is my crush at this party? As a matter of fact, they are. Hey, don't go through a mental list of every person at this party, okay? Sleuthing is not allowed. Not that you'd be able to figure out my crush anyway. I think they're the last person you would think of. <laughs> You're pretty dense, aren't you? That's okay. I don't mind. Especially when it works in my favor. <sighs> it's pretty cold out here. <laughs> it felt nice at first since it was so hot inside, but I'm getting a little chilly now. Hey, you don't mind if we get closer, right? If we stand super close like this, there's no way we can be cold. You know how penguins huddle to keep warm? Well, even though it's like minus 40 degrees in Antarctica, they still get too hot if they stay in the huddle too long. That's why each penguin is only there for about 50 minutes. Sometimes they even have to eat snow afterwards to cool down. Hey, what's that look for? <gasps> Don't tell me you want to get so warm we have to eat snow. I didn't take you as the type. <laughs> I am just kidding. But I feel warmer already, don't you? That could just be the alcohol though. Hey, you're giving me that look again. It's not like I'm drunk, come on. Just a little tipsy. Look, I'll even do a tongue twister to prove my sobriety to you. Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Where she shines, she sits, and where she shits, she shines. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't mean it. I mean, I totally meant it. I'm not drunk at all, see? <laughs> You know, I think you just haven't had enough to drink. I mean, if you think about the situation we're in, it only makes sense to be drunk. At a party on New Year's Eve, surrounded by free champagne, you never know what could happen between us. Hmm? What? Did I say something strange? I just said you never know what could happen. And it's true. What if someone tried to kiss you? Maybe it's not just my crush who's at this party. Ah, are you blushing? <laughs> so you do have a crush. And I'm guessing she's at this party too. <laughs> You're so cute. So, who is it? Aww, you won't tell me. Are you still upset that I wouldn't tell you my crush? 
I mean, sure, it's not fair, but nothing in life is. Like, it's not fair how I'm three drinks in and you've barely had a sip of your champagne. It's putting me in a vulnerable position, you know? I could reveal all my feelings for you at any moment. The least you could do is tell me your crush. What? All this blushing of yours is going to kill me. How am I supposed to deal with this suspense? She must be pretty cute if you're getting flustered over her like this. What kind of girl do you like, anyway? The whole time we've known each other, you've never been in a relationship. Well, yeah, I haven't been in one either, but I already know what I like in a partner. I want to know about you. So let's see. What's your ideal height for a girl? Shorter or taller? Or maybe about the same height as you? My height is your ideal? Interesting. Very interesting. Let's see. Who here is about the same height as me? There's Molly, Rebecca, I think Justine is about my height, and... What do you mean I'm doing the exact same thing I told you not to do earlier? Do you think the same rules apply to us both? <laughs> You're cute. The rules don't apply to me, sweetheart. I'm going to figure out who you like before the year changes over. And you can't stop me. <laughs> Oh, so you're going to figure out my crush too? Should we make this a game then? Hmm, but all games need a good prize. Or a punishment. <laughs> oh, I know. Remember the tradition of the New Year's kiss? The loser has to kiss someone of the winner's choosing. But what if that person doesn't want to kiss the loser? Well, then the loser has to make peace with the fact that not only they lost our game, but were also rejected for a kiss. That's a pretty severe punishment, don't you think? You better start guessing, because I've already narrowed it down to three girls. Hmm? Don't I mean four? Is there another girl my height here besides Molly, Rebecca, and Justine? Don't worry about it. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? You're being all coy for no reason. Maybe you're just trying to mess me up because I'm so close to figuring it out. That's it, right? <laughs> I can read you like a book. You stand no chance against me. Not even if you give me those cute puppy eyes. Hey, I think the fireworks are starting. Mmm. It's still kind of cold outside. Maybe we should get closer. Like penguins, you know? Your jacket is kind of in the way. Here, take it off. And now we can wrap it around both of us. See? There's no jacket in the way anymore. And your arm is so warm. You don't mind if I hold on to it, right? It's nice being wrapped up in this jacket with you. 
The fireworks are so beautiful, don't you think? Not as beautiful as... Hey, don't say stuff like that. You're making me blush. You're supposed to be watching the fireworks, not me. You've always looked at me like that. It makes my heart flutter. You are really special to me. I hope you know that. I know that I'm always teasing you about stuff, but for once, I want you to know how I really feel. We've only known each other for about a year, but you've become the most important person to me. I think a lot about our future. And I know that I want to stay by your side forever. And I know you might not feel the same way about me. And I really don't want to ruin our friendship. But when you give me that look, all I can think about is kissing you. I think I'm in love with you. Uh, I guess I've revealed who my crush is, haven't I? <laughs> I'm not very good at this game. That means you win, doesn't it? And you can choose who I kiss at midnight. Hey, do you hear that? People inside are counting down. It's almost midnight. Did you decide who I'm going to kiss? Hey, you're almost out of time. Don't tell me you- <laughs> Happy New Year. Let's be together this year. <laughs>